Makera University counts 40,000 students and is considered one of the top schools in East Africa. Yet, Makera is now under fire, accused of not doing enough to stop the alleged sexual harassment of female students. Chisule Rehma said she never reported her experience. She went to a professor to dispute a grade. Then the lecturer made a statement like, have you had sex before? So I was wondering, why, how is this coming up? Like, I'm asking for marks and you're asking me whether... So he was, when I gave him a very weird face, I'm like, what are you talking about? He tried to like, no, you know, okay, no, that's not the thing. So if you've had sex before, you're supposed to... The marks... Like, he wasn't making sense. I had to just, like, from that day, I don't even go to his office. The issue has long been whispered about at Makere, but two cases have gone public this year. It's someone with authority who abuses it and, um, you know, um, seeks for sexual favors from vulnerable students in, in, in return to, you know, some missing marks, some, um, some academic-related favor. Law professor Sylvia Tamale leads a committee set up in 2017 to handle cases of sexual harassment. More than a decade ago, administrators rolled out a short-lived and much-criticized dress code for female students. I was challenging that uh, proposal. I told him, supposing I find your lips extremely sexy and, you know, kissable, are you going to cover them? In other words... Sexualizing women's bodies is not a women's problem. Blaming the victim is extremely wrong. It is missing the point. Lawyer Isaac Semakade is representing a female student who sued the university this February. She was dismissed in 2013 after she reported sexual harassment. The court proceedings remain under seal. The impact of the global MeToo movement cannot be under, under you know, understated here, the extraordinary courage other women uh, have had to, to master to speak out against this historical uh, prejudice and injustice that they've suffered in their workplace, in schools, and in various institutions of public and private life. Students say reporting abuse is still not easy. Here comes the problem where but even the dean of students is maybe a personal friend to the very lecturer. So in that, in that scenario, what, what do you do? What do you do? We get stuck at the end of it and they tell you, you know what? The situation is being investigated and you wait, you wait, you wait, you wait in vain. There are signs of change. The university's sexual harassment policy dates back to 2006. But the school is now creating mandatory online training to raise awareness. Meanwhile, administrators quickly suspended the registrar official in April after a student posted a photo on Facebook of his alleged inappropriate behavior. That investigation is ongoing. Halima Athmani for VA News, Kampala.